The problem with addictions are that they lead you to make idiotic decisions. My name's Patrick and I'm a Zoomaholic. I mean, look at this idiot. He's in his 50s and he's not even wearing a crash helmet. From London to Texas, you are watching Sir Patrick Bikes. But what I am wearing of any note is a bloody great big cheesy grin. Now the funny thing is, I'd already made a video of this thing and I'd lost all the footage. I just kind of forgot about it because this bike originally was going to be just a flip bike. Bought it from Copar, it was an easy repair and then I thought yeah stick it on uh, Facebook Marketplace or uh, Craigslist, uh, get rid of it, make a bit of money to help fund the track bike. But then what happened was, I like kept putting it off. I was like, well, I've got all the paperwork and I'll easy probably double me money on it. And uh, I just couldn't bring myself to, to advertise it because I just kept going out on it like this. I'm just going down the shops. <laughs> That's kind of what this little bike is made for. You just jump on it. It's so easy to ride. You just turn the key, twist the throttle and go. You have to wait for five minutes or 10 minutes for the AC to kick in, in in your car. So you might as well just get on this little thing and if you're just doing like a 10 minute trip down to the store to grab a few groceries, I don't know what you're thinking. Why would you take a scooter if you've got to go shopping? Where are you going to put your... Where are you going to put all your shopping? Well, I'll show you. Right, so here we are at the supermarket. This is like Kroger. And let's just find, see if we can find a parking spot, cat, shall we? Hey, look at this. Not one motorbike, not one scooter in the parking lot, ever. Right, you'll see, you'll see one. You'll see one every now and again. Every now and again, you'll see like a little motorbike or a scooter. I'm just gonna stick it here. Where's he gonna put his shopping? Well, I'll show you. He goes in there. And that'll actually take a full face crash helmet. It's surprisingly big. Surprisingly big. So, there you go, shopping in there. Got the beer, got the bread. I had to bend the bread over. The fundamentals of life, beer and bread. You can live on that. Here we go. So easy. Jump back on the thing. Jump back on the little bike. Look behind me. Head out of the car park. And we're back on it. Hey! <laughs> Just coming up to your dual carriageway. I've got like a geezer in a Kia on my left. I'm gonna give it an acceleration test. See if it can keep up with the traffic and see how fast this thing can go. Here we go, rock and roll. Let's go. Th throttle on the stop. Throttle on the stop, yeah, I'm pull pulling away from the cars behind me. You can see. Car's gone past me, I'm doing 58, 58 miles an hour. Can I get any more out of this? 59, wherever you can see it. Oh, it's creeping up to 60. So the cars are overtaking me, they'll typically do 70 miles an hour down here. But still, you're not a mobile chicane, you are moving along quite smartly here. So suffice to say, it accelerates really well up to 50 miles an hour. Um, and then it'll, it backs off a bit. It takes a long time to get from 50 up to 60. So I'm nearly out of petrol, or gasoline as we say in America. And now I'm gonna fill up, I'm nearly on empty. Yeah, 
I'm just uh, double checking the mirrors and uh, I forgot to mention that I didn't actually pay for the beer and I've got the Sweeney on my tail. But it's okay, because this is like a go-away bike. I can just escape from them down here, head towards the water, hit the magic button. And on that note, cheers to all you Zoomaholics. <laughs>